Welcome back to Metro Pro Wrestling here on Metro Sports. It's main event time. Chris and a newcomer here to Metro Pro Wrestling, Ricky Cruz. And he's got a lovely ballet. And as always, Lucy, master of the entrance, Chris. Lucy Mendez now in the corner of Ricky Cruz, who is making his debut here at Metro Pro Wrestling, Dave. And I have yet to see Ricky Cruz live, but I've definitely heard all about him. Huge star down in Puerto Rico and Mexico. He's from Puerto Rico, been wrestling since 1999. He was taught, Dave, one of his trainers was super crazy, of course, of ECW and then later WWE fame here in the United States. But you want to make a comment about that guy dancing, Chris? Come yes. On. Hillbilly Jim with his cane looks really great dancing into Ricky Cruz. That guy should be on Dancing with the Stars. Please. By the way, this guy must be a big ladies' man. He's managed to turn Lucy's frown upside down. You see her smiling and high-fiving the fans. I love this new attitude. Well, Lucy Mendez definitely uh, still friends with Domino Rivera and obviously has some kind of friendship here with Ricky Cruz coming out here in his debut match. We'll have to find out more about that as the months go by, but this is a huge match, Dave. No doubt. The Metro Royale, which is going to be a Royal Rumble type battle royal in just a couple of weeks here on Metro Pro Wrestling, is going to be for the Metro Pro Championship, which was unrightfully stripped last week off Jeremy White by Stephen J. Gerthy because he had to. That's the first right thing he's ever done. But Mark Sterling is now facing Ricky Cruz for the final entry spot in that Metro Royale. So this is big, Dave. Yeah, you're right. Not only the debut in Metro Pro Wrestling and Ricky Cruz, but like you said, both these guys are already in the Metro Pro Royale coming up here in a couple weeks. But whoever gets that last spot, the last entry, it's, uh, I mean, you got a great chance to win it. Yes, it's obviously a huge advantage. It's a coveted position to come in, the final man into that Metro Pro Royale, the first ever Metro Pro Royale here for the Metro Pro Championship. And this guy, Dave, one of the Kansas City Killers, friends of Jeremy Wyatt, you know he wants to get that title and bring it back home to the Killers' stable. And he turned to Mark Sterling's putting his 40-pound hand weight on the line in this match. Why, Dave? You can't even lift it. You and, you and the referee Wilkos couldn't even lift I'm that thing. I'm pretty sure if I use both hands, I might be able to slightly lift that weight, Chris. Please. I've seen you in the gym. It's jump rope for you and treadmill and elliptical. That's it. Yeah, sorry I'm in shape and not fat. Oh, because strength is fat. Let's go talk about Mark Sterling. Anyway, here we go. Ricky Cruz, Mark Sterling, stipulation being the winner, moves on to be the last entrant in the Metro Pro yeah. I'm excited to see Ricky Cruz in action, Chris. I've heard lots of great things about him. I know this guy's a sensation in his home country of Puerto Rico. And he's facing one of the best and, and brightest rising stars here in the Midwest in Mark Sterling. So it's not an easy way to get his career started here at Metro Pro. He's obviously got the fans vote already, Dave. I don't know how much that is to do with uh, some people just don't respect Mark Sterling enough and they like anybody that goes against him or the fact that they really just like the aura this guy brings out here. I mean, this is the first time a lot of these Metro Pro wrestling fans have ever seen Ricky Cruz. Probably doesn't hurt the Lucy Mendez with him as well. It's probably a combination of both things. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think if you pulled a homeless guy off the street and they were wrestling Jeremy Wyatt or Mark Sterling, the people would probably be giving a standing out to the homeless dude. You just you just think you're so funny. I'm not even joking, Chris. Yeah, you think you're, yeah, no, speaking of homeless dude, dude over there with the cane dancing earlier. That guy was great. He's my new favorite fan, Chris. Here we go, Sterling with Cruz in the corner now, and these two have wrestled before. Ricky Cruz now making his home in the United States in St. Louis, Missouri, coming over here for the first time to Kansas City, but Sterling with a clean break, of course. We no, see that no, all the time. He was trying not to have a clean break, Chris, but Ricky Cruz had it scouted. Now, Mark Sterling, the fittest wrestler in the world, Dave, but uh, Ricky Cruz, pretty big man himself here. Ricky Cruz with a headlock here, taking control early in the match, and really wrenching into that here at the center of the ring. Here we go off the ropes, Irish whip by Sterling. Huge shoulder block. You know, I never thought I'd say this, Chris, but I'm hoping Lucy Mendez will get involved in this match at some point. Oh, okay, it's fine when you want her to get yes. involved. Look at, the, look at the agility and the, the flips here, the moves by Ricky Cruz. Unbelievable, and Mark Sterling, I know it doesn't take much, Chris, but he's already frustrated and angry. No, he's saying get him away. Get him away. Dave, CrossFit competitions and winning all these competitions throughout the United States have gotten Mark Sterling prepared for situations like this, okay? Yeah, if only... It's called endurance. Yeah, if only success like that could bring a smile to this jerk's look, face. Look at this. You know, Ricky Cruz, at insult to injury over there, sitting on top of the ropes, totally disrespecting Mr. Sterling. Hey, he can take a nap. He's in control, Chris. We're going to have another restart here, Dave. We'll see what happens in control. The fittest wrestler in the world and Ricky Cruz. 
Yeah. You keep backhanded compliment to Ricky Cruz, Chris, and obviously Sterling's in control at the moment, but Ricky Cruz has been in control the majority of the early part of this match. And look at this, going for the reversal. Look at this kip up by Ricky Cruz and just the takedown. And now, wrenching that arm of Mark Sterling. Yes, Cruz, Dave, has definitely been in control so far. You mentioned it, he's a big, strong guy, Chris, but very athletic as well. That's obvious here. It's obvious to see why he was a fan favorite down in Puerto Rico. He's wrestled with the likes of Savio Vega, Dave, obviously a, a former WWE superstar in his own right, with Los Bariquas. And Sterling getting him in the corner now and going to work. Big elbow to the chest by Mark Sterling, the world's angriest wrestler. Anger's sometimes a good motivator, Dave. Come on. Yeah, sometimes it is, and sometimes it probably isn't. I'm sure you'd agree with that, right? Loses his focus sometimes, pays too much attention to the fans. Yeah, that might happen occasionally. You know, every once in a while. Big chop by Ricky Cruz. Hear those echoing here in the rafters. Oh, and another. Listen to this, this crowd definitely behind Ricky Cruz already. He's already got fans, Dave. I'm about to go buy one of his t-shirts, Chris. Really? Especially if he wins this match. Look at that move. Look at that Hurricane Rana into the ground and Mark Sterling to the outside where nobody's gonna give him any respect. Can you blame him? All this guy does is come out and insult the crowd every week. Dave, have you seen the crowd? Yeah, they're great. How could working blue collar folks, Chris. How could you not? You know, that's really the question. Here it is other Ricky. than Hillbilly Jim, a toothless guy. I think we got an A-plus crowd here at Turner Rec, Chris. Ricky Cruz sneaking up on Mark Sterling, but Sterling saw it coming and throwing him into the apron there. Midsection crashing into the ring and again. Match. Who's in control now, Dave? Yeah, you're right. Mark Sterling in control at the moment. But Ricky Cruz has been impressive, I think, here in the early going. Definitely. Obviously, he brings something a lot to the table. But Sterling throwing him in like a piece of trash. Here's a cover. We make sure Lucy stays over there so the camera's on her for... Is there a way to get Stephen J. Gerthy to order that? I, I will say this, Dave. You're a hypocrite 99.9% .9 of the time, but you have always been a Lucy Mendez fan. Thank you, Chris. Just don't tell my wife. I already have. Oh, yes. Here we go. Big boot to the back. And Mark Sterling now... Get the upper hand on big Ricky Cruz. Again, stop in the midsection of the challenger here. What's Sterling going to go for here? Looks like he's going to hook the leg and go, go for a pin, but only a quick two count. Didn't fully hook that leg, so probably wasn't going to help him when trying to keep the big man down. But Mark Sterling now jumping up, showing his agility one more time as he gets back to work on Cruz. Off the ropes, and again, shoulder into that midsection. Mark Sterling continuing to... Work on the soft spot there. Uh, face first into the top turnbuckle goes Ricky Cruz. We haven't had a lot of Puerto Rican stars here in Metro Pro Wrestling, but Dave, I'm telling you, before this guy made his debut here in Metro Pro, couldn't hear more good things about Ricky Cruz. And look at that, falling with a huge high knee into the midsection, and Sterling continues to be on top. You're right, we haven't had a lot of Puerto Rican stars, and I'm just glad Jeremy Wyatt isn't here. You know, a couple weeks ago we heard his attempt at Japanese. He'd probably have some broken Spanglish for us tonight if he was here. And Jeremy White needs to come. He told me that he wants to maybe do a little color commentating here while he's recovering. Oh, so we'll dear see. Oh, God, help us all. I hope he joins us soon. Well, now we'd have to create some extra space for that giant cast he's trudging around in. Oh, that's that's real nice. Make fun of the guy's handicap. Look at that big knee in the cruise, and here's a cover. Yeah, not really hooking the leg too firmly and only a two count for Mark Sterling. Just every time Ricky Cruz tries to make a little comeback, Dave, Sterling's there to knock it down. And a huge knee into the ribs and another. Look at this, sort of a, a bear hug there on the canvas on Ricky Cruz and just working over, continuing that midsection. It's like it's cuddle time, Chris. Dave, it's called a submission maneuver, okay? You call it what you want, but call it cuddle time. Ricky Cruz, look at that. He's falling asleep, Dave. The pain is just too much. Start dropping that hand right now. He drops it three times, Dave. Mark Sterling last entered into the Metro Pro I didn't know the spoon was such a good finishing move, Chris. There's two. It's a bear hug, Dave. Sorry. Here's three in. Mark Sterling oh, won. That, no. went, that went down. Ricky Cruz somehow, out of nowhere, able to stay alive in this match, but now he's got to find a way to break the hole. Dave, just so much on the line. Not only just his debut match here, but also, again, 
What a great chance you have to winning the Metro Pro. Look at this. What a reversal by Cruz, but only a two count. Thought it was going to be a knee by Sterling, but Cruz turned into a pin attempt. And look at that, trying to drop kick, but Sterling kicks him to the side. Just brushed it away. Here we go. Look at this. Uh, two count for Sterling. Look at that. Cruz holding his midsection, his arm obviously in pain as Sterling just starts hammering away on his face. Ricky Cruz was in control early, like I said, but it's been all Mark Sterling the last five minutes or so. As I was saying, though, Dave, it's his debut match, which is big enough here against Mark Sterling, one of the all-time greats here in Metro Pro Wrestling. But now, if he wins this match, or whoever wins this match, it's going to be what, what an advantage to become Jeremy Wyatt's successor. Well, I can't wait to see, and you're right, no doubt about it, I can't wait to see who else is going to be in this Pro Al, Chris. And there's so many great stars in the back. I think we'd have most of those guys make their appearance. And, you know, normally in those things, you have a couple, you know, surprise entrants or maybe somebody that hasn't been seen in a while. I can't wait to see who's going to come out yeah, for the big I've, battle royal. I've been hearing some names, Dave, and there really? will be some interesting names oh. out there. So, uh, Gobbledygooker? <laughs> maybe you haven't seen in a while. No, nobody that bad. Uh. But Mark Sterling, though, back down to this bear hug, just taking out Ricky Cruz. Look at the leverage he has as he gets up on his tiptoes there, putting all that weight down on Ricky Cruz's midsection. Call this the inverted cuddle time, Chris. You know, that's not... He's in the front this time, and so it's inverted, you get it? It's not very respectful, Dave. Oh, now back to the traditional CT. Ah, but Cruz. Broke it for a second, but then hammered right back. Here we go, Sterling with the Irish whip now. Abby lowered his head too quickly. Cruz caught him. Look at that! Look at that, hitting each other with Cross bodies in the middle of the ring and both men down. David double down. The referee's going to start the count. The double cry, flying cross body block, Chris, and both guys worse for the wear. I'd have to think Sterling's still a little bit pressure. He's been in control lately. Sterling getting up to his knees, as you said first, Dave. Yes, he is the one that has been in control, but no Cruz now. He's getting to the corner. Looks like both men are going to be about equal as they get up from this, and Sterling kips up there. Here we go, both men back to their vertical base, but Cruz with a huge right hand. And another. Third time's a charm, Chris. Now gonna send Sterling off the ropes, no reversal. Oh, oh the elbow oh. to the face. Huge clothesline. And Sterling's in trouble now. Look at that. Crescent kick on Sterling. What athleticism and martial arts skills from the big man. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the agility and the, the height he got on that kick. Come on. This could be it, Chris. Oh, almost a three count. Ricky Cruz so close to getting that final spot in the Metro Proyal, but Mark Sterling able to kick out, thank goodness. Oh, yeah, thank goodness. Everybody here at Turner Rec Center so happy he kicked out. By everybody, I mean only you. Dave, shut up, okay? Here we go. Look, Cruz up and over Sterling. Wow, unbelievable combination. How'd he land on his feet, Chris? Big boot to the chin of Mark Sterling. So he's calling for his finisher, Chris. What is it? I have no idea. That Apparently must be his finisher it. is take two feet to the face. The double boot here. Sterling, look, oh. all the weight on the sternum of Ricky Cruz. Big stomp, and this could be it from Sterling. Oh, oh at the last second, Cruz kicks out. How did Sterling not get the Duke there? Come on. Ricky Cruz in some big time pain in the corner. Sterling can't believe he hasn't won this match yet. He's doing it. Dave, he told me in the back he's doing it for honor for Jeremy Wyatt. I mean, the first double champion in Metro Pro history. He's doing it for the Killers. He's doing it for Wyatt, SBC, everybody. That's great, Chris. Oh, look, oh, at, look that. at that. What's he going to do here? Spine buster on Sterling, and now look at this maneuver, Dave. It looks kind of like a reverse figure four, Chris. Look at that, all that leverage on his legs. And Mark Sterling's going to, he's going to have to tap if he doesn't get to that rope, Dave. I don't think I've ever seen this move before. What a submission maneuver by Ricky Cruz. Look at this. Everyone's screaming for Mark Sterling to tap, and he's wildly flinging around his arms, and he finally gets to that bottom rope. Come on, don't break it, Cruz. You got till five. Get off. He's got to fight, Chris, as you so aptly point out every time one of your guys has a submission hold on. Dave, it's not one of my guys, okay? I just calls it as I see it, okay? And look at that big boot to the face of Ricky Cruz. Look at the agility by Mark Sterling still in this match. Uh, but it looks like he's still hurting or maybe playing a little possum. Yeah, it looks like it, Dave. Big forearm shot and then top turnbuckle goes to the face. Oh, Chris. So we may have a high-risk maneuver here, and it is high-risk. 
And Sterling's oh! gonna pay the price. Throwing him on his back in the middle of the ring, and Ricky Cruz now. He's going to the top, Dave. The big man's gonna fly. Tit for tat, Chris. Look at this. Oh, but he missed with the big frog splash. Frog splash by the big man. Misses Sterling, able to barely get out of the way. And now Sterling, we've seen this, Dave. He's setting up for his spear, Dave. This is it. It's gonna be over. Come on, Cruz, watch out. Here we go. Lucy Mendez isn't gonna be able to stop this. No. Oh. Shoulder into that ring post, Dave. Here's a roll up. And Cruz is no. one, Chris, what an upset. Well, Thank the goodness for the ring post. Hand. Otherwise, the guy's no shot. He was fair and square, Chris. Lucy did not get involved. And Ricky Cruz is going to be the final entrant in the Metro Pro Royale. Ricky Cruz, what an, what an entrant in the Metro Pro Wrestling. Wins his first match against the Herald in Mark Sterling. And then he's going to get the last shot, the last spot in the Metro Pro Royale. Good job, Ricky. Great debut. Look at this, Ricky Cruz. Love this guy. Impressive debut in Metro Pro Wrestling coming out here with Lucy Mendez, but Mark Sterling, he's still in the Metro Pro Royale, Dave. He still has a chance to become the next Metro Pro Champion. Don't you forget that. Where's Jeremy? Where's the killers? They need to come out here and do something about this. Look at that loser.